Barbershop music is largely an African-American folk art rooted in the late 1800s. This type of storytelling through song experienced a revival in the 1940s and remains a popular genre of a cappella music today. In our Sunday morning spotlight, Daniela Cato shares the harmony of the Midwest Vocal Express. <laughs> really wrapped up in the music. Pass me by one summer day, flash those big brown eyes my way. The message of the music. We have sung some music where I had to stop singing and go and get back into the program because it, it gets to you. Music has the power to connect us in ways we might not be able to explain. For a performer, you can say that feeling is magnified. When I get in front of an audience out on the stage with my quartet, it's a different world. It's, I almost feel like I've become a different person and I can have a ball with the people in the audience. I grew up singing barbershop. My dad got me into it. I started when I was nine years old. Brian Ziegler is the musical director of the Midwest Vocal Express, Wisconsin's premier men's a cappella chorus. I dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven. Founded in 1989. The Midwest Vocal Express received our charter from the Barbershop Harmony Society on the day I was born. Sit down, you're rocking the boat. Ziegler says his father was one of the founding members who started the chorus group in the Milwaukee area. And 35 years ago, they became an official chapter of the Barbershop Harmony Society. The barbershop style really got its start back in the 1800s. The barbershop was a place uh, for people to gather socially, and uh, somebody would start singing one of the popular tunes of the time, and uh, other customers or barbers would uh, start singing along and harmonizing uh, with it. Barbershop quartets involve a lead singer. Heart of my heart. a tenor who sings the melody. Not without you. While a second tenor adds harmony above, a bass harmonizes below, and a baritone fills in the middle. Dennis Monroe sings bass. Hey boy, say boy, that's nice for me so recalls the very first time he stepped onto the international stage in 1999. We probably were 50, 60 voices and we went out there and sung and it was electrified. So hello, Mary Lou. Bill Kilborn is also a proud member. He's been part of the society for 54 years. I've been a tenor in the Easy Days Quartet for the last 15 years. And when our baritone, due to health reasons, had to resign from the quartet, I moved down to baritone. Say you'll be mine. He says it's not just the harmonies that strike a chord, it's the lyrics that consume their entire being. For example, the ones that we're due for Valentine's Day. Let me call you sweetheart. That means something in English. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Those are all words that bring out emotions. Show joy. That's what I do when I'm on the stage. Show me fear. The Midwest Vocal Express typically has two shows a year. We'll start there right away. Yeah. For which Ziegler helps select and arrange the music. We love the feeling of what we call lock and ring. I dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven. When you hit a chord just right and you hear overtones above you, 
and it's just the coolest feeling. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it right now. Things begin to percolate. They're also called to perform at community functions and travel for competitions. Beans from his mom and pop. Then he opened up his own coffee shop out in Queens. My quartet won the world championship in 2018. And they've done a number of outreach events at schools around the country to help bring back the arts. Most recently, in the fall of 2022, an all voices chorus, Forward Harmony, was established. I not only get to sing with my dad, but also my mom and my wife. Can you imagine your life without music? No. No, it's, it's my, it's, uh, I always say barbershop has been the obsession of my life. Um, I went to school for music. Music is my career. I don't know what I would be doing if, uh, if it weren't for music. CBS 58, your Nice.